Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with some good old Pokemon Nuzlocke. Uh... Okay, we're gonna go fight back. <laughs> I don't know why that one took such a long time to come out, but it did. I'm gonna try and see if I can dodge this old man, and while I'm trying to do that, remember, if you want to keep the daily Nuzlocke going, well, you don't really have to do anything, because I'm gonna keep doing it regardless. But, if you want to help make me feel good about my efforts, you should totally leave a like. Leave a comment too, I always enjoy reading what everyone has to say. Uh, like hearing your current thoughts about how... So now that I'm this deep into this, by the way, I'm assuming everyone that's watching this cares deeply about the team, I need you to hear about your current thoughts about me potentially modding Pokemon Silver just so I can evolve Kid Fisto. If I were to evolve him, I would make sure that I wouldn't be able to evolve him until he was level 36. But hey, I'll leave that up to you. Let you guys talk about it. I'm currently on the fence about it because I really do want to want... Kit Fisto at this point, let me be honest, Kit Fisto is very much early to mid game if he does not evolve into Golem. So if we want to keep Fisto, we want to keep the Fisto alive, we got to keep, keep Kit Fisto uh, in fighting form. I'm now going to fight this man. And also I'm going to be training Nux because he needs to be nice and strong if he's going to fight a Scyther. So, and he still does not have Ember. Of course you're a hiker, Anthony. Of course you're a hiker named Anthony. Oh no, this is all bad. No, oh actually it's fine because Solrock is actually um leveled up. So guess what, guess who what? That's right. Hmm. Tackle, huh? He still can't take that tackle, though. Please don't kill Solrock. Please don't kill the Wooper. Okay, no, thank god. Thank god for ground being not effective against rock. How does that make sense, by the way? Because Earth is super- the ground types are super effective against rock types, but rock types don't do shit to the ground. Is it because of that thing I just said? Because if so, I think that makes a little bit of sense. Finally, Nux learned Ember. And so Rock is of course level, gets 100 EXP for it, and now he gets to take out this, oh, this Machop. Wow, the, <laughs> the, now that's a man who loves his fists. Okay, so here's good news slash bad news. I don't know if we have anything that can actually withstand a fighting type move. I mean, Solrock can, but does Solrock have the defense? Let me look up my boy's. Okay, defense 17. What's your defense, Nux? 17. Base type effective. When... No! Oh no! I accidentally pressed A. Oh no! Please don't kill, please don't. Okay. Okay. So. He has that. It has to be Jotaro. Because Jotaro's flying. Let me get him out there. That was unfortunate. We almost lost a very good friend here. And low kick, thank god, is based off of how much you weigh. And Jotaro weighs nothing. So let me quickly harden. Because I'm afraid of getting insta one-shotted by Machop. So we're going to steal ourselves. Okay, he only does low kick. Perfect. Oh, wow, what a crit. That's crazy. All right, Jotaro. I'm not going to do it for every single time because then it would get annoying. Two times, really? Hmm. Alright then, Jotaro. You're going to have to just fury attack this man until he is dead. And I'm going to need you to keep keep the momentum going. Really? Only two? You got to give me more than that, buddy. Jotaro, my boy. Give me a fiber. Or at least hit with him. <laughs> you know what? This is another thing to think about because, unfortunately, um, I think Scoo might need to be protected in the box, because as right now, without EXP share, I am not actually comfortable training Sku. Um, because Sku will just instantly be killed by so many things. So I think it might be time to... I don't know, switch out Sku for now. I definitely think Sku is endgame stuff, but maybe also... Hmm... Who knows? Alright. Gained. That was a hell of a battle. Kid Fisto accidentally joined the battle and then immediately said, Whoa well, boy, you've got more zip. Alright, Hiker Anthony. That was uh, harder than it needed to be, so I'm going to go back and then I'm going to go train. Actually, no, I'm not going to go train because I need to go see if I can find a Pokemon in the grass. And if I find a Pokemon in the grass, then we'll name our buddy. 
Oh, man. Oh, you know what? We'll learn Fury Cutter from here, and we can teach that to Jotaro. Um, I'm pretty sure there's, like, next to no good bug moves. At least in this generation, because, you know, it's bug. But if we can try and teach... I mean, if, if we could make um, Wokey Free from Pokemon Red, make it all the way to the Elite Four, we can make a Butter... Uh, a Butter Free. We can make a um, Beedrill do the exact same. I mean, hell, Beedrill got a Mega Evolution before Butterfree, so it's obviously the stronger candidate. Also, it's unfortunate that he is Poison and Bug, two of the most unfortunate things you can be, <laughs> at least in t early generations. Hello, Rattata. Goodbye, Rattata, because now Nux knows Ember. Yeah, my face. Yeah, my face. And you see how this Rattata is getting beamed down? This is exactly why... I fear for a mouse every single time a mouse comes out. But no one else can fight water types like mouse can. Mouse is built to be one, a survivor, and two, the number one stronger than an electric type when it comes to taking down uh, water types. Except for in the case of Wooper, in which case he does better than an electric type, but you get what I- <gasps> Oh, it's a snake! Oh, I didn't think I'd actually run into a snake! I think everyone here is like too strong. So I'm gonna quickly just see if I can throw a great ball and instantly catch Ekans. One, two, three. Boom! Alright, so um I know exactly who's gonna be named this, which is really funny because I didn't think it was gonna happen. Always hides in the grass when first born. It has no poison, it's a bite, it's painful but harmless. I'm gonna name it after uh, long time watcher of many of my videos, even though I'm not 100% sure when he's watching whatever video. Uh, Snake, if you were there for the long, long journey that was um, the Yu Gi Oh! Game Boy Advance game that I'm currently blanking on for some reason, which means that I should just actually play that again with Zen because it's long enough that I forgot the name of the damn thing. The Yu-Gi-Oh! GBA game that we both love, the one with uh, that has wood remains and all that other good stuff in it. Uh, damn, really, I can't remember it right now. Okay, now I'm kind of, kind of annoyed that I can't remember the name of it. Let me look up. Not Lore Podcast. That's just what it's set on. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. Boom. The second I typed in Yu-Gi-Oh, I remembered the Sacred Cards. Alright. But yeah, Snake. Snake now joins the team. So let's see. I think we should definitely replace one of them. Because again, Scoo needs to be trained. Scoo needs to s sit out for the time being. Let me deposit. Where are you, Scoo? There you are, Scoo. Scoo, go in here for now. You're a baby. It's not time for baby time. When it's time for your time, I will come get you. Let me see. We got Snake or Jake? Oh no! Jake and Snake! Like Jake the Snake Rock. Now I need to see if I can use both of them. Let me see. Hmm. Hmm. I really wish, I really do want to use both Jake and Snake because it'd be Jake the Snake, like Jake the Snake Roberts. Oh, damn it. But that would mean getting rid of Jotaro, and I really don't want to get rid of Jotaro right now. All right, let's uh, we'll take out Jake for now. Snake, you hold on. You're in reserves in case uh, Jotaro does not make it past anything. Which you know, obviously, I'm making sure that all my Pokemon are a living, so I'm not trying to insta kill people. Let me say hello. Uh huh. Okay, so before I actually go to the gym, I have to go save a bunch of slowpokes. Perfect. Oh, wait, first let me get this right here. I think it's a white apricot. Apricorn? Hell yeah, white apricorn. Love it. I like that white stuff. Hello. Hmm? Who are you? Wokey, eh? Want to make me some balls? <laughs> Sorry, you have to wait. You know Team Rocket? Ah, uh, don't worry, I'll tell you anyway. Team Rocket's evil gang that uses Pokemon for the dirty work. I know. Uh, uh, yeah, go do it, dude. Go, Kurt. 
fuck him up. I'm gonna go help save Kurt now. What? Oh, that's right, they require- I forget, you need to- I forget, I think he makes you want to buy a Slowboat Tail. Stupid bastard. Like, I'm gonna go buy a, a Slowpoke Tail in this economy? Come on. Let me see. Okay, so now, another unfortunate situation where we, we are heading into a... Uh... We're heading into a fight. Oh, damn it. I just don't know right now. I'm almost positive there's mostly you dudes in here, but also there's a chance of catching a Slowpoke. So... Hello, dude. Hey there, Wookie. Uh-huh. But then I took a tumble down the well. So I can't move. Good job. Uh, I can't be helped. Alright. Now here's the fun thing. In the DS version, he actually does heal your Pokemon. He doesn't in this one, though. Darn, I was standing guard up top when some old coot yelled at me. Started to tell I fell down here. I think I'll vent my anger by taking it out on you. Doom, doom, doom. This is an interesting Team Rocket theme. Okay. Ratatatas. Cool. Not a problem, for the most part. Slam! Oh no. Oh, it failed. Soul Rock's defense could not go any lower than it currently is, to be honest. Water gun. <gasps> oh no. Alright. If he used Quick Attack, I might be in more danger, because Quick Attack honestly does a lot of damage. Wow, really? Okay. Do you not know Quick Attack, dude? What are you doing? I should stop telling my enemy how to beat my Pokemon. <sighs> it's fine. Alright, Solrock, good job. Good job. You're getting up there. You're getting up there, buddy. Another Rattata. So... Guess who's coming out to take down the rat? Kid Fisto. Hello? I'm relying way too much on Kid Fisto. Oh, that one knew Quick Attack! All right, all right, I see how it is. Like I previously demonstrated an episode, an episode before, Quick Attack is devastating to Whoopers. It actively hurts the hell out of them. And now, as I've just demonstrated, uh, yeah, Rattatas have really low defense. Oh god, this is not my day. <laughs> no, it's not, dude. Oh, a lady Team Rocket member, hello. So, I'm gonna switch in Nux because he's close to evolving. And he has a berry, so he can defend himself. Hello, ma'am. Stop taking tails. Yeah, just trying to defeat all of us. I am going to defeat you. Ma'am. Oh, wow, it looks like, um... What is it, Cassidy? From Butch and Cassidy? Not the movie, but from <laughs> the show. I had a feeling you would have Zubat. Um, all Team Rocket grunts from, um... Red and up to silver only have Zubats, Ekans, Coughings, and Ratatatas. Only in that family and nothing else. Very rarely. And then later on I think some of the scientists have Voltorbs and Magnemites and that's about it. Oh, you're gone down, Zubat. You're nothing like Jake. You're no Jake, for sure. Oh, see? What did I tell you? An Ekans. Ember. Boom. I think Nux evolves after this, right? Let's get our good old fashion. We gotta save these slowpokes and then also get Nux evolved. Come on. Don't get hurt by a rep. Nux currently, by the way, playing through Soul Calibur and he's currently using Yoshimitsu, who he does not know how to use. Um, so I've been watching him play a lot of Soul Calibur and kind of be like, oh, what's Yochimichu do? Hmm. Let me do some stuff here. It's a lot of fun. I like watching my brother's videos, and he, up he, up he uploads daily now, by the way, if you're interested in his stuff. Oh, 13. <gasps> you rotten brat. Really? He doesn't evolve? Who's the one that evolves early, then? What the hell is up with that Slowpoke? <laughs> Slowpoke, buddy. Oh, you've seen better days. Alright, we're gonna keep on going. It's a Slowpoke rescue. Quit taking Slowpoke tails. If we obeyed you, Team Rocket's rep would be ruined. That guy's thinking the long game. I'm just like, I can't, literally I can't listen to you. Because if I do, then who the hell am I? 
and he's got a point there. All these rat tails are just gonna be burned up to nux. Take him down. But yeah, once we have Quilava, I think the second gym leader... Here's the thing I'm actually more afraid of, is the fact that we do have to fight our rival again. And that's pretty close up soon. If you're wondering, like, oh, have you been looking this up? No, I just remember, because I played a lot of gold and silver through the ages. All just regular gameplay, too. Not, like, Nuzlocke type of stuff, either. Uh, that's fine. You have a, you have a berry. You're gonna live this. I say, hoping to God he lives this. Oh, man, so... Oh. You know what I just realized? One, Nux is confused, and this is bad, because I should have switched out the Kid Fisto. Oh, shit. Please don't die from this. Okay. You're getting out of here. Because you know what's more dangerous to you than anything else that these motherfuckers can do? Nothing. So, Kid Fisto time. Um, is that I think I have to use Mouse to completely one-shot all of my rival trainer's Pokemon. No, but I can't, because he has Croconaw. What the hell am I going to do? That's a question that Future Wook is going to have to figure out, because I honestly have no idea how I'm supposed to beat him without losing a Pokemon. Super effective, especially since I've set it to set, by the way. If it wasn't for set, I'd be able to beat him pretty easily, I'd say. But because of this whole setting um, thing I've done, it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt. But hey, we'll deal with it. When we get there in like an episode or two, get away from this bug right near my face. Good job, Kid Fisto. I mean, it is possible that Kid Fisto is just so stupid powerful he just beats everything he has. Just too strong. Okay, let's see. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Let's switch the mouse. With Kid Fisto in the background just to take him out, and we'll save the day here. What do you want? If you interrupt our work, don't expect any mercy. I expect no mercy from you, sir. And with this, I think this is the last rocket grunt, and then we're good. That's a coughing. A level 14 coughing. Hmm. I'm gonna try one quick attack. I'm pretty positive nothing co coughing actually has, because he doesn't know explode or anything, can actually kill me. Tackle could hurt me, though. Tackle can, in fact, hurt me. So let's see, how much did we take? 8, 16... Let's say times 3. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20... That's an insta-kill if he tack... Okay. If he crits me, that's an insta-kill for Mouse. So Mouse is coming out now. And it's time for Kid Fisto. Okay, good. Are you hurt by rocks? Let's find out. I forget, the smog, the smog cause terrible poison, like, um, toxic? Or is it just regular poison? Let's find out. Never mind. Alright. That's not good. Attacked mist. Oh man, I like how I said after. Okay, let's see, so... No, okay. I should be fine. If I tank 8 damage from this, then that means that, uh, it has a toxic-like effect. Okay, it doesn't. Okay, so... I was almost about to heal Mouse instead, because Pokemon games are weird now. It does deal 4 damage, though. Thank god this only deals, like, what, 2 at most. Yep. Okay. Tackle! How dare you tackle me back? Don't you know who I am? I'm Kit Fisto. Well, technically I'm Wokey, telling Kit Fisto to hit you. Alright, good job both of you. Mouse and Kit Fisto. Mouse just was no way of surviving that. But wait till next time. 
Even if you're allowed to be in the next time. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> this guy is assuming a lot of the fun. Slowpoke, unamused by anything that just happened. Thank you. My back's better, too. Let's get out of here. Thank you for insta-telling porting me here, by the way. Uh-huh. Yes, I did. Thank you. Now he'll make me my balls. Thank you for the lore ball. I'm sure I'll use it at some point. I make balls from apricorns. Uh-huh. Yes, I do. Here's a white apricorn. Sounds good, dude. Little girl, what do you feel about this? <gasps> Aw. A happy story for all. And now with that, everyone, that's it for today's episode. Thank you very much for sticking with me and seeing the Slowpoke adventure. I'm going to figure out what to do next. Who am I going to train? Again, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Nux because Nux needs to be... Uh, that Scyther is no joke, bro. So, till next time, everyone. Have a good day. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!